it, it, if the organization is mature enough, you have data. And, you know, if you have, if you collected data, first step, most of your data is probably crap historically. What, uh, what data are you talking about? Okay. We're talking everything, every, every, what, whatever um, variables are, in, are, are, are part of your recruiting process. It could be number of people sourced. It could be the time that it took you to, you know, from that first uh, uh, call to the hiring manager about, you know, about their new job. How long does it take for them to set up a meeting so you can talk about the role? They're, they're, they're you know, the, 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 what funnel metrics, um, you know, location metrics, turn down metrics, whatever it is. Okay. So you have a picture. I can give you a story about that at Google. That's go, ahead. Another, go do go that. Ahead. Honey. That's a good story. So I was recruiting engineering managers for YouTube and we were, we felt very busy. You know, I had like a bunch of sourcers <laughs> that were working with me on this business and it felt like we were really busy and lots of resumes being submitted, but we didn't have a ton of interview activity, which is really confusing to me. So I ran some numbers and I pulled the data like Steve's talking about and found out that our resume submittals would expire after seven calendar days. <clears throat> so if a hiring manager logged into their queue, any resumes that had been submitted seven days or longer disappeared. They're still in the, the ATS, the system or whatever, but they're no longer visible on the hiring manager's dashboard. 50% were expiring before managers would go look at them. And my sourcers just kept throwing resumes at them. And I said, we're not doing this anymore. Yeah. Until we have an SLA, until we define, you're going to have a response from me in 24, 48 SLA hours. SLA is service right level agreement. Is, there's fine. juniors. There's juniors here. Right. Service level okay, agreement. Okay, well, that's, you know, that's recruiting. Their problem. Oh, well, hold but, on a okay. second. Wait a sec. I, I, no, I, this is so confrontational. The only thing uh, that Amy it's said is- It's not confrontational. No, confrontational. No, oh, it sure sounds like it to me. Uh, although you said, look, I'm your partner. Don't kick me around. I'm not your secretary. Okay. Here's, here's how the conversation went. Here's how the conversation went. I said, hey, I've looked at the historical data over the last three months. 50% of the resumes that we've put in front of you have not been viewed. We have a seven day window for you to go in and review those resumes. If you're not able to meet that time frame, who would you like to nominate as your proxy on your team? Oh, well, I don't have anyone else to review the resumes and I'm too busy. Okay, so what I'm hearing you say is that recruiting is not a priority for you right now. We're going to go ahead and tell the, the VP, Scott, that you don't have time to do this and we'll get back to you when you either make time or nominate a proxy. And this is why John never argues with his wife. 